You know, I've been grabbing a lot of stuff on AliExpress lately. I just found this. This is the first thing I want to mention. So I, I ordered this. I cannot wait to hook it up. I just got it in the mail. This is a 2.5 gigabit switch. And then that's 10 gig right there. And that'll hook up to my other 10 gig server and then 2.5 gigabit throughout the house. So I just grabbed this because that's why these are finally coming down in price. And this is real tech on the inside. This is like the real deal right here. Uh, they didn't send me this item. I bought it. They don't even know I'm talking about it. They sent me a couple of other items. I wanted to see what you could do with a computer that's $133.65 that has 16 gigabytes of memory and a 512 gigabyte SSD and an N95. It's a full on system. It's everything. You don't need anything else. It makes me wonder if the Raspberry Pi even matters anymore. So I'm going to test it with that in mind. And then also this. This price has been going up and down. I've seen it at 16, I've seen it at 17, but this is a Razer Death Adder. So I had to get one of these to see if it was real or not, because I couldn't believe the price. This is one of my first mice and I still have a tender spot in my heart for the Death Adder. So anyway, let's talk about what's going on over to AliExpress. Right now they're having their anniversary sale and that means a lot of deals. There's like a ridiculous number of deals. They did sponsor this video. And the first thing I mentioned, I did order. It wasn't something that they sent me. So I wanted to cover that as well because I do still pick up a lot of stuff on AliExpress. If I do a little bit of research, figure out which ones have the best best parts and then order those. So right now, if you head over to AliExpress with the link in the description for their anniversary sale, you can get even more off. We have a couple coupon codes for you. The first one we have is WOW328. That's $10 off any order over $50. And then if you want to get $20 off orders over $100, use all on AE. That's going to be good from March 18th until March 27th. All these links are going to be in the description. So now let's talk about what we got here to look at. First off, this is the Firebat AK2 Plus. It's a mini PC, Intel N95. So we got four cores. It's not hyperthreaded or anything. Those are the efficiency cores. So the N95 cores, they're generally better than the Jasper Lake cores. Now, you see the in this one, a higher number, right? Well, no, this is the uh, much more modern processor, 12th gen. It's going to be a more modern processor, four cores, four threads, up to 2.9 gigahertz. Not a lot of extreme speed right there, but you can do a lot with this. And we'll talk about what you can do. Then we got the memory right here, 16 gigabytes of 2400 speed DDR4. That's how they kept the price down. And then it comes with 512 gigabytes of internal memory. On the front, we have power button, USB 3. We have two of those and then a USB 2, which is what I actually like for my controllers and mice and stuff. And then on the back, we have our DC input, USB 2. We have two HDMI, so it'll support two monitors. None of the USB do um, any display port or anything. It's just two monitors with the HDMI. And then we have our gigabit ethernet and then um, our audio port over there. Popping off the hood is really easy. There's just a latch and then you just pop the hood open and look under underneath. When you first pop off the hood, you'll see we have a little bracket and that is to mount the 2.5 inch hard drive. So you can mount an SSD. You could even mount an old spinning disk hard drive if you wanted to. If you wanted to add some extra storage, you just pop that off, quickly put in your extra drive and you're good to go. Now, if you use a screwdriver and unscrew that sled, look underneath there, then you have access to the RAM. We have one stick in there. If you wanted to upgrade that, you could do that. But for $133, so you know, this computer, it, it's cool. It's got a nice case and everything, but it was, it was just missing something. It was missing a little something. So, you know, I got some of these and I got these on AliExpress. Now, what I normally do with these stickers, you get these big packages of all these stickers. This is a package of Ghost in the Shell stickers, but you can grab all kinds of different stickers. The thing I like to do with these is pretty much cover my suitcase. So that way when I travel, whenever the suitcase shows up and it, it comes through, I say, oh, that's my suitcase. I can tell because it's covered in ridiculous Ghost in the Shell stickers or whatever. But one of these looked great on the, uh, on the computer. So I put one of these on the computer and then it looks much better. And there it is, there's the one. So these are also, uh, really inexpensive. Now I've coupled that with the Death Adder and I wanted to see if this was the real deal because the price was at a point where I was like, how could this be real? And especially with the free shipping and everything. But I got it, opened it up, did a full-on inspection. It feels like a Razer. It looks like a Razer. I plugged it in and was able to install the Razer software. The Razer software recognized it so it's in Synapse and it runs perfectly. It's it is a Razer Death Adder. It's just hard to believe that you can get it for that price. So in my opinion, that's probably the best mouse that you can get for that price, unless our mouse is on sale. But it does have an amazing flawless sensor. One of the mice that I've used the most, the Death Adder, I used it for years and years and years until we started making our own mice. When it comes to competitive gaming, you'll find a lot of people still use that mouse if they're not using our mouse. So it's just a good deal for the price. So whenever I'm playing the games and stuff, I'll be using this Razer Death Adder. It's, it's a comfortable mouse. That's pretty much it. I don't need to go too far in depth in, with the Razer Death Adder. A lot of you know what it is and how it works. This is the Razer Death Adder Essential. So you're just getting the green color here on this one. Don't have the full RGB with this, with this one. Also, this one is 96 grams. 
so nice and light as well. And the max movement speed of that sensor is 220, acceleration is 30 G. So if you wanted all the details there, now you got them. So anyway, let's jump in and play a bunch of games and just test this out and see what you could do with it. You know, for me right now, it's really hard to justify getting a Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry Pi doesn't come with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's only got a little bit of RAM. CPU is not quite as fast as this. Um, it doesn't come with an operating system. This came with Windows 11 Pro. So for this price, we're getting the Pro version. Okay, sure, I'll take it. The Raspberry Pi doesn't come with any memory usually. So you'll have to go out and buy all the modules that you're going to need. So if you buy the memory and then it doesn't come with the case, of course, you buy the memory, you buy the case, you buy all the other stuff that you need need and now we're talking that you're well over a hundred dollars you could get something like this and it'll play a lot of the games that the raspberry pi will not play for number one it's x86 so you can play a whole bunch of games on your windows based systems you can emulate all kinds of games like that as well but you can play all the games on windows that'll work with that modest intel integrated graphics card take this new game for instance this is wrath Eon of Ruin, and I've been playing this like crazy. Just came out even though it looks retro. Now this was built on a modified version of the original Quake engine, and a lot of the people who worked on this also worked on some of the best mods for Quake. So it does have that flavor, but it's completely new. And there's some stuff that even feels really fresh. Some of the movement, some of the ideas that they've put into this feel really new. Even though the gameplay is very similar to a lot of the retro FPS and the boomer shooters and whatnot, it's ridiculous fun. And it runs beautifully on a little system like this. It'll run on old systems, new systems. So if you're looking for an awesome boomer shooter that just came out that has tons of style, tons of atmosphere, some really interesting movement mechanics, some awesome weapons, I highly recommend this. It's been my obsession for the last week. I started playing it on this little system and now I can't stop. Also, I highly recommend getting an HDMI to VGA adapter so you can play this on a CRT the way it was meant to be played. But when it comes to emulation, well, you can emulate systems that the Raspberry Pi cannot. We're talking like the PlayStation 2, it runs those games just fine. Won't quite do the PS3 though, but you can run GameCube games, you can run PS2 games, PSP games, PlayStation games, N64 games. These games just barely work. Well, the N64, a lot of them work on the Raspberry Pi, but like games like GoldenEye and stuff have a hard time, whereas they do work on this machine. I feel like if you're just getting like a small machine to do emulation and stuff, yeah, you're going to do better if you're doing software emulation. I don't feel like the Raspberry Pi is the thing to do anymore with these really inexpensive mini PCs like this. You can just use this and you're good to go. And it's also a computer and it's also got Windows 11 on it. If you're looking for something to give grandma or whatever so she can get online or your friends or people who don't play games, then this is plenty fast for that if they want a desktop and not a laptop or a tablet or whatever. I think a lot of people just use their phones nowadays. But if they actually need a desktop or if you need a whole bunch of these things for your office, then by all means, it does come with the clip to go on the back of the monitor for your office. Anyway, above and beyond all of the stuff that I've just mentioned, if you wanted to just wipe the hard drive and install Proxmox, that's a Linux, that's a Linux virtualization environment that'll let you install all kinds of virtual machines. So I think you could probably install four or five virtual machines with this unit. It's got plenty of RAM, but the four cores, four threads thing is where the limitations might come in. But I mean, I would run, you could run maybe Pi-hole, you could run a, a Debian installation with Portainer and put a whole bunch of containers on there. This is, if this is above your head, well, whatever. But I mean, something like this could replace a big old server unit. There's a lot of these little units on the market that'll do this. And in the past, we've sort of recommended those old school Dell office computers that are about this big, but this will be better than that. And it's, I mean, it's kind of put those out of business. People were selling those from offices for like a hundred bucks. I'd rather have this. It's gonna be faster. It's gonna be uh, much, much smaller. And if you put your, you know, two and a half inch drive in there, you'll have a little bit of extra storage. So there's a ton you can do with this. And it's kind of, it's kind of hard to believe that these x86 computers with 16 gigabytes of RAM are now at this price with an operating system. So if it's just for the sale, then maybe that explains it. Maybe they're moving some inventory, but yeah, it's kind of a stupid deal, as in stupid good. Let's have a look at these canned benchmarks. Now, this is not a 3D powerhouse. So even these older benchmarks like Unigen Valley, um, not looking so hot on 1080p high. 10 FPS, again, the UHD graphics uh, is good for a lot of stuff, but not modern AAA gaming. So I don't know what you thought you were going to get at this price, but that's not it. Anyway, that just gives you an idea if you want to compare it against some of your other small systems. Let's take a look at Geekbench to see what the N95 can do. Now you have our single core score of 1077 and 2391. So if you want to compare that against some of your smaller computers, your older computers, and there's all the information. It's 
scrolling on down, you can compare all these different tests against whatever you got. And just pause the video if you need to. Let's look at that OpenCL score, 3104, and I'll scroll down and we can look at these test scores. You can compare them against whatever you got at home. All right, that's all the CAN benchmarks we're gonna do for this, but this will give you an idea of what it can do and what that CPU and GPU can do. Anyway, head over to AliExpress. Don't forget those coupon codes. They're all in the description. And here it is again, all kinds of stuff here with their anniversary sale. Right here while we're looking at the anniversary sale, looking through all these picks, I wanna know, what do you, why, why are there so many wigs? I wanna know what you're getting. Maybe I'll give a prize to whoever gets the weirdest thing. So let me know exactly what it is that you're getting. And if it's ridiculous, I want to know about it. I, I don't know, some something about when it comes to consumerism, I love ridiculous stuff. You know, it's weird how like much of these things go with nerd things. And they're like, oh, you, you must like your because you like mice and gaming products. Eh, probably right. Get your good shipping deals and get your other good deals. Just... Everything's in the description. Thanks, AliExpress. I'm enjoying this tiny little computer, and it's nice to have a little bit of nostalgia with the uh, Razer Death Adder before I move back to the mouse that we make. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're getting on the anniversary sale, and I'll see you in the comments. That's a Linux virtualization environment that'll allow you to install. The. That's a Linux virtualization environment.